During the rollout of COVID booster doses last year, clinics were set up at buildings such as the one behind me here at Warden and Eglinton. But talk with health advocates, they'll say these spaces were also vital for fighting another illness, MPOX. Ever since MPOX emerged in North America in 2022, Dane Griffiths and the team at the Gay Men's Sexual Health Alliance were among those stepping up to raise awareness and fight the spread of it. An MPOX infection is, is really not uh, pleasant. Formerly known as monkeypox, MPOX is believed to be transmitted by coming into contact with a lesion, respiratory droplets during lengthy contact, or exposure to contaminated objects such as bed sheets. Painful lesions are the most common side effect, which can pose lingering challenges such as intimacy and, and, and pain, particularly um, depending on where the lesions were, were located. Last year, Invimmune vaccines were rolled out. While MPOX isn't exclusive to the 2S LGBTQ plus community, men having sex with men represented a larger number of cases and they were encouraged to get a shot. Summer was just uh, an exceptional period in terms of the vaccination campaign. We got first doses into uh, tens of thousands of arms in our community. That advocacy may have paid off. There have been just more than 700 cases confirmed to date in Ontario, and nearly three quarters of those were in Toronto. As this Public Health Ontario graph shows, cases went way down after August. I think the vaccines probably played a, a large part in the drop-off, but I think also people's awareness about how this disease is transmitted. Toronto Associate Medical Officer of Health Dr. Rita Shaheen on what could be behind it. But there have also been small blips in January and February. We're not seeing anything like the numbers we saw last summer. The disease is still circulating. In, in low numbers. When first doses went out, there was a short supply and recipients were told they'd have to wait for an announcement on a second. While eligibility for that second jab opened late in the year, there's been low uptake. And I don't know for sure what it was. I think, you know, a, a combination of maybe fewer messages getting out there, you know, to the public, a fewer cases of MPOX in the community, so people maybe not thinking it's a big deal anymore you know, the booster doses for COVID being rolled out at the same time in the fall. It's prompted Toronto Public Health staff to try to reach out to more than 17,000 people who haven't received their second dose. No one in Canada has died, but for those with weak immune systems, it can be life-threatening. The cases that we're seeing, you know, in individuals who may have had one or two doses of vaccine are quite mild. So, the vaccine, although it's not 100% effective, you know, really reduces the severity of the disease. Meanwhile, Griffiths echoed the advice of getting vaccinated and issued this caution. That sense of urgency while not there um, shouldn't give way to any complacency. For more on how to get the vaccine, head to citynews.ca. In Toronto, Nick Westall, City News.